What we eat and how we make it is always evolving. From the fishing net to industrial farming to refrigeration, for thousands of years, humankind has invented new technologies to push our food supply further. Today, humans produce around 4 billion tons of food a year, according to the United Nations. But on average, a third of all food we make goes to waste. Many people don't think about what happens to their food at the end of its lifespan. The problem is only getting worse as we make more food to feed a growing population. Industrial animal agriculture is highly inefficient. As the world's food systems rapidly become unsustainable, entrepreneurs are inventing again, including right here in Hong Kong. Dim sum, a meal typically made of meat and seafood filled dumplings and buns, has been around in tea rooms like this since the 19th century, but everything you see on this table is vegan. We are seeing this pivot around the world as new innovations allow us to take animals out of the equation, lower the carbon footprint of the food we eat, and the food that's left behind. I'm Christy Lou Stout, and this month on Inventing Tomorrow, we meet the pioneering businesses serving up new ideas for a more sustainable future. Veggie burgers are here. The first veggie burger hit the market in 1982. The burger for people who don't eat burgers. While early creators made the burgers as a meat alternative, the idea wasn't that they tasted like meat. Try them for a chain. Fast forward four decades and many plant-based burgers now taste, look, and even smell a lot like the real thing as brands cater to a growing number of consumers who are also regular meat eaters. In 2019, 95% of people who bought a plant-based burger also ate burgers made with beef in the same year, according to market researcher NPD Group. Welcome news for the plant-based restaurant Neat Burger. We're not targeting um, vegan people. This place is for everyone. Serial entrepreneur Jordan Rocca co-founded Neat Burger in London in 2019. The plant-based versions of standard diner fare, such as burgers, fries, and milkshakes, are a hit with customers. A lot of vegan stuff tends to be like, oh, super healthy, and like, you know, but I like a bit of junk, so yeah. <laughs> Rocca says that by the end of 2021, the restaurant chain will include 20 venues, with branches to come in Europe and the U.S. The initial beef-style patty was devised in collaboration with Beyond Meat, one of the most highly valued alternative protein brands in the industry. Now, Rocca employs a team of food scientists to tweak recipes in-house. We've been working in some new improvement for the fats in the product so we can make it juicier. We are using a new high oleic fat made from sunflower oil, so it holds better together. What do you think of the flavor and the fat? Much better. Perfection for me is to create a product that it could look very similar to a, a normal burger, but uh, with less fat, less calories, and sustainable for the environment. The environment is an increasing concern. The ways that land, water, and energy are used to raise livestock are a major driver of the climate crisis. And while the global appetite for meat is still on the rise, experts say that in coming decades, the market for alternatives could outpace traditional livestock. Industrial animal agriculture is highly inefficient. You need nine calories of chicken feed to get one calorie of chicken meat out. Alternative proteins can replace their animal counterparts because in the end, the cost will be lower to create meat directly from plants or cells and to actually grow an animal in between. Market research projects the alternative protein industry could be worth at least $290 billion by 2035. And as competition grows to reach even the most carnivorous customers, some are turning to food technology companies to gain an edge. Companies like Motif Foodworks, the Boston-based startup, is dedicated to improving the appearance, texture, and nutrition of alternative proteins. 
Spun out from biotech company Ginkgo Bioworks in 2019, Motif Foodworks incorporates a range of scientific disciplines, according to CEO Jonathan McIntyre. We feel that we need to bring in a broad set of new sciences to both analyze food differently, discover new ingredients differently, and design food differently. Let's say in a hamburger, connective tissue, cartilage, they create a lot of that bite quality in what makes a burger. So we went to material scientists and said, how can we use plant ingredients to create a material that has the same physical properties as connective tissue. We're gonna have this one here. Alongside technologies to make plant-based burgers taste meatier, McIntyre says his 40-person team are also developing vegan cheese that stretches and melts like real dairy. The first products made with Motif Foodworks technologies will be on the market in early 2022. The next challenge is to lower the cost of producing meat alternatives. Though some questions remain over the nutritional value of switching to highly processed fake meats, one thing is certain, the craving for meat isn't going away. And more accessible options could help satisfy future generations and help protect the planet.